Hi, today we're going to talk about the difference between a series circuit and a parallel circuit. So you can see on this side of the screen we have a series circuit. And you can think of series like circle. Sound pretty similar. Series circle. And you'll notice that each electron, which are these little blue dots, has to go through each light bulb. There's no way around it. They have to go through each light bulb when it's a series circuit. Over here we have a parallel circuit. This is the way your house is built. And you'll see that the electrons have options. They, can, they have different paths that they can go down. And um, that's why we call it parallel. Do you see how this wire is kind of side by side with the other wire? That makes them parallel. So I'm just gonna take this whole light bulb out. <gasps> what happens? The whole circuit stopped for a series circuit. But if I take out the light bulb here, look at that. Part of the circuit can still continue. So this is one reason that our houses are built in parallel. Because can you imagine a light burns out in your house and everything in the whole house goes out and you've got to wander around turning on different things and is it this one, is it that one, I don't know. That's what you have to do with um, like Christmas lights or twinkle lights. When one goes out, the whole string doesn't work. Right? And you have to go around and test, is it this light bulb that's bad? Let me try putting in a new light bulb. Is it this light bulb that's bad? Let me try putting in a new light bulb. If you had to do that for your house, it would be a nightmare. So that's one reason our houses are set up in parallel. Another reason our house is set up in parallel is because of the brightness of the bulbs. Watch what happens when I add another light bulb in parallel. Did it change the brightness of anything? No, they all stayed equally bright. But what happens if I add another light bulb here in the series? All the light bulbs got dimmer. Can you imagine in your house, huh, it's getting dark in here turn on a new light. Oh, now it's even darker because although this light is on, all the others are dimmer. That would be really annoying. So that's another reason that we have our houses set up in parallel. So the light bulbs here are just standing in for a resistor. A light bulb is a type of resistor, but there's many other types of resistors. Refrigerators, toasters, vacuum cleaners, cell phones, TVs, really anything we plug into a circuit is a resistor. It resists the flow of electrons. And in a parallel circuit, you can see that I can keep adding yet another resistor, like yet another light bulb, and it does not impact the brightness of everything. So it means I can have many, many things running at once and it's not going to reduce um, their effectiveness just because I have many things plugged in. But this does cause a problem. Do you notice how fast this current is moving now? It's moving really, really fast. And each time I add yet another resistor, it's the current in this main branch before it splits, it's gonna move faster and faster and faster. That could cause an electrical fire. Watch this video here to learn more about how circuit breakers and fuses stop the flow of electrical current in a parallel circuit to help keep your house safe. So ironically, as we add more resistors in parallel, we actually reduce the overall resistance in a circuit. I know it seems backwards, but it makes sense if you think about the electrons kind of like cars. So imagine that um, here we've got a car, cars driving on a 
racetrack, highway that goes in a loop, whatever you want to imagine. And each light bulb is like a toll booth. And so along this path, every car has to go through every toll booth. And that's going to slow the flow of the entire thing down. A parallel circuit, when you look at the main branch, it's like this is the highway, but we've got three toll booths open. So the, the current can still go at a pretty good pace. If we open another toll booth on our highway, you will see now the flow actually goes even faster because there's now even more paths for those cars or electrons to get through. And so um, adding resistors in parallel is like adding extra toll, toll booths on the freeway. It's going to speed up the current in this main branch of the circuit. And um, like I said before, that can cause electrical fires. But overall, Parallel circuits have many, many advantages. One, you can disconnect a light bulb and the rest of the circuit still works. Two, you don't have a dimming effect. When you add more light bulbs or more resistors, they all work equally well, no matter how many of them there are. So those are the main difference between series and parallel circuits. Um, and why we have parallel circuits in our homes and not this kind of circuit. Have a great day. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. And here are some other videos that I think you might enjoy.